Here's a, a part of the farm from which I've never filmed, I don't think. Although you might recognize that field full of pallets. And right there you might be able to see the upper barn. Uh, and that's the neighbors, my, my sister actually, and brother-in-law, that's their field. I'm still on our property, but I'm right at the fence line between here. If I go on up the mountain, I go on to my sister, my sister's property. Well, I saw something here that got me pretty excited the other day. This is about the driest time of the year. It's <clears throat> about as dry as almost as I've ever seen it. And look here in this creek, there's water. There's water laying there. And if I can get that water raised up just a little bit, I'll be able to start it. You probably can't distinguish this, but but I can. if I can create a weir right there, I've got a ready-made zanja started here, which I worked on almost 50 years ago. Uh, when I was first here to live for currently, I worked on this and tried to get water running here. I didn't understand the feature which I'm approaching as I'm going downhill. There's a feature down here that I just didn't understand where that divot, it, it looks really just like a, a zanja or a, a seki if you want, a, a water supply. It looks just like it and, and water does lay in it at times. But right down here, I'll keep filming I guess as I walk, but I can shut it off. Starting right here, it goes through. Uh, it, it, it's been dug out, uh, uh, and now I know what this is. I think, <laughs> and I'll tell you in a minute. But I'm walking right in it now. But I was so puzzled by this. I thought, was somebody here before me? Uh, uh, was this a water supply before me? It's not wide enough, and it's not worn the way it part would be. It's just got one spot in the middle. Stones have been laid up on both sides to go through here. Now I know what it is. It's a log drag for when horses or mules, probably mules, drag logs down through here. Uh, just one log at a time or maybe a bunch of logs and probably just one mule at a time and uh, delivered them there, took them around, and headed back up the mountain. That explains it to me. But I'm going to, once again, this is, as I say, some 48 years, 49 years later, I'm going to once again see if I can get water running in this old, what I know now, as a log drag. Well, I've started. Um, the job, uh, the first job, is going to be to get that water level high enough and this uh, outlet low enough that the water, instead of running the natural drain that way, will come in this freeze. This is a freeze dough or a weir. Um, and uh, I brought the wrong tool. I brought a hoe, but I used it to hoe the leaves and some of the other debris <clears throat> out of that log drag. But I need a shovel. <clears throat> so I'm going to get back down get myself a shovel. But in the meantime, I'm going to put this piece of cloth, uh, um, lay it down there, and let it start to see what it does about uh, changing the course, of, working a little bit like a dam. I learned about that kind of late in life. All right. Here you can see that I do have a little bit of flow. Not very much, but that's enough. Uh, <clears throat> I break the leaves out of this too. And here's that piece of cloth, which I'm going to pull over here. I remembered now that in re recent practitioners online, I hear guys talking about leaky weirs. That's what this would be, a leaky weir. Although to me, all, all, all weirs by definition leak. They're not dams. But in any case, I'm going to spread this and then I'm going to go down, head down toward the barn. There we have the start of a leaky weir. I'll use a modern term for it. We'll see, I'll probably be back here in 45 minutes. I don't know, maybe it might be an hour, maybe less. And uh, we'll see what it looks like then. Off to get a shovel.
and probably some pruning shears. Maybe that's all. Aha! That was easy to find. That was put there by my grandfather. I didn't know anything about it, but I found it. And uh, it, it continued on across this and went as a water supply to the barn. I figured this stuff out. He, he died before uh, I was old enough for him to explain this to me. But that is buried under that log rag. And that's one of the reasons I get the two confused. Maybe it's no log rag at all. Maybe he just had a backhoe up here and, uh, and dug that. Maybe. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll still say that's entirely a possibility. But uh, it looks to me like a log drag that he used. And I know where the supply was to this pipe up there. I tried to, I actually managed to unblock it and get it flowing 45 years ago. But it kept blocking with leaves and sediment all the time. Now I know how to deal with that. But I didn't at the time and, and it just wasn't worth it. And it was a lot of work to get that open again to the barn. I don't know if I can do that again or not. I may try. But what I'm going to do, I'll, this is okay, but when I come through that place that's been, where the stones have been pushed apart, I'm going to immediately turn the water and put it on a contour. So it'll go that way. Bye for now. I'm back already. That probably wasn't much more than 15 minutes. Um, but now I have a shovel, I have pruning shears, I have an X-Acto knife because the uh, piece of cloth I've got is at least twice as wide as I need. Uh, and I can use the other half of it further down. Uh, the, it hasn't filled very much more that I can tell, but, uh, but that's all right. There, that's still wider than what I need. Uh, but I've, I've, anyway, now I've exposed the part where I can dig, and I'm going to start digging here and casting it up there, and we'll see how this goes. There, that, that was, that, this is easier digging than I was afraid of. And I, I know why, it's because it has been dug out before. I did it, as I keep saying, 45 years ago. Uh, there's roots there, but not big ones. And uh, you can see where I've be ca been casting the spoil, what I've been digging out. I'm gonna lay the rest of this run down this far and then keep digging for a while. There. This time I'm going to be gone a little bit longer, maybe an hour, because i got to move the pigs to, uh, to a different pasture. They'll be looking for it. But, um, I'm gonna, so I'm going to leave my tools here. I don't usually like to do that, because sometimes something comes up and you don't get back for 45 years. Um, but I'm going to leave the tools here, and we'll see what it looks like when, when I get back.